and holy f knuckles, I don't think I'm gonna make it home before the storm starts. Ah! Oh god! What's up everybody, Michael here and today I'm going to talk about the DDB4 Duo. That is the current microphone I'm rocking on my Sony A7S III. I hope you can actually hear me well, I'm really curious to uh, see how this sounds. Uh, full disclosure at this point by the way, uh, they sent me this microphone to review. Um, but as you know, as usual, they don't get to say anything about my review, no money changed hands. Oh god, this is quite a mission and uh, as usual I can say whatever I want. So to me, there are really three features that are special about this microphone. Number one, obviously the pricing, it's really hard to beat. Number two, the dual microphone setup. And number three, and this is really big for people who, you know, shoot a lot of interviews, you have the possibility to plug in a lavalier microphone into the DATD4 Duo. As I previously mentioned, $68 is really hard to beat for what you get. And funny thing is that Dady actually sent me four microphones for this review. Uh, future video editing, Michael here. Quick, it just dawned on me why they sent me four of these microphones. It's because I mentioned towards them that I work as a teacher at two universities and I teach students how to make videos using their smartphones. Now the thing is, at these universities, it's bring your own device culture, so we can't use those microphones. That's why I'm going to give away two of them to two lucky subscribers of this channel. The only thing you have to do is leave a comment down below in the comment section uh, why you would want a D4 Duo and you have to be a subscriber of the channel and I will announce the winners at the end of June 2022. Now back to the video. Now the dual microphone setup is something that I wanted in microphones of this type for a long time. Oh boy, Mordor is coming. Well, I personally managed to purchase a Sony ECM-B1M that is my current setup, but obviously the ECM-B1M is much more expensive than the DDD4 Duo. And it's also really hard to get these days because availability of things, um, you know, all things tech is really limited. You can activate the dual microphone setup with a little switch on top of the microphone. It's split in a way that the left channel is the microphone pointing forward and the back microphone is on the right channel. And honestly guys, I would leave the switch on both forward and backward microphone at all times because then you don't run into a situation where you forget to actually, you know, make the switch and then all of a sudden you only have audio from the front facing microphone. This is a microphone test with the Dayti D4 Duo. I am talking normal and it is in a rather windy situation because I'm obviously riding on my one wheel and I try to get home before the storm starts. This is a microphone test with the Dayti D4 Duo on the backwards facing microphone and I hope you can hear me well. I'm literally holding the camera straight in front of me. This is a microphone test using the Rode VideoMic NTG that I have mounted on my camera straight into the microphone plug and I hope you can hear me as I'm still trying to get oof, trying to get home before the storm starts. This is a microphone test with the Rode VideoMic NTG where I am pointing the microphone away from me in the same fashion that I did holy balls with the Day TD4 Duo before. And I think that the audio is gonna be a bit more muffled because, yeah, the microphone is obviously pointed away from me. This is a microphone test with the Sony ECM B1M. And holy f knuckles, I don't think I'm gonna make it home before the storm starts. Ah! Oh god! <laughs> Well, to be honest with you, this probably wasn't my most clever idea ever for a review setting. I'm literally stuck here for like, what is it now, 45 minutes or something? And it seems like it's not gonna stop raining anytime soon. So yeah, there's that. The best part about this is that the sun is actually coming out. I mean, it's kind of beautiful, right? But I think I still can't leave because of the one wheel. Finally, I think I can leave this little shelter here and <laughs> I mean it's still drizzling but from what I've read online uh, the one wheel should survive that. Oh god! I'm, I'm not entirely... oh god, is this a good idea? Oh, I'm really not sure. 
Okay, here we finally go. This is a microphone test using the Sony ECM B1M in omnidirectional mode. And the microphone is pointed away from me. I hope you can hear me. And I hope that my one wheel makes it home safe and sound. So I plugged in a Sennheiser AVX Mark II uh, lavalier microphone wireless into the additional input jack of the Day DD4 Duo. And yeah, let's compare how they sound. So here you have the input from my lavalier microphone from the Sennheiser. Hello, hello, test, test. This is a lavalier microphone and I hope that it's not too windy. And then finally, here you have the DTD4 Duo that you could use in a situation like this, you know, for ambient sound or in order to actually clean up the audio signal by doing a noise reduction process. Back in the studio and I have to tell you there are a lot of things I like about this microphone but there are also a few things I don't like too much. Numero uno. When you think about the target audience and the devices this microphone will be on, you probably think of, you know, small compact vlogging cameras, budget options, and the DTD4 Duo, for what it is and what it does, is actually surprisingly big if you of course include the dead cat elements on both sides. Another thing I'm not too big a fan of is the Rikati shock support, you know, the um, thing that the whole microphone sits on. For me it's just a tad too wobbly, but obviously I am nitpicking here because this thing, $68, you can't complain. And that leads us to the conclusion. I think this microphone is incredible value if you are just, you know, starting out to vlog, you're looking for a budget option or you're someone who just needs maybe even a bunch of microphones on top of your camera for scratch audio or for an interview setup. At this price point, as far as I'm aware, there is absolutely nothing on the market that can compete with the quality and with the features of the Day TD4 Duo. I love the dual microphone setup because for vlogging situations this is an absolute no-brainer. Of course you have to separate the channels in post-production and you shouldn't forget to flip the switch but other than that I think this is an absolute killer feature. And then there's the cherry on top which is the lavalier input and that is just something I absolutely love. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, obviously the Day TD4 Duo here is not gonna replace my Sony ECM B1M because the Sony just has a lot more features is frankly just a better microphone, but obviously it's much more expensive. Now if I had to choose between the Rode VideoMic NTG and the D4 Duo, this would be probably a much tougher choice because I think there's arguments for both of these microphones. The Rode VideoMic NTG has a few more features, you know, like a USB-C um, capability, you have high pass, filter, you have uh, high frequency boost and so on and so forth. Uh, that Those are all features that the D4 Duo doesn't have. But then again, this dual microphone setup is just, it's pretty damn sick. Well, that's been it for me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, it would mean a lot to me if you liked, subscribed or left a comment down below what you think about the Day TD4 Duo video mic. Until then, guys, keep creating. I will definitely see you in the next video. Cut! And today we're gonna have a look at the new Daity uh, thing D4 Duo, D Mike D4 Duo. Okay. <laughs>